American Horror Story Double Feature Part 2, Death Valley, Episode 9 is now out and available for you all to go and watch. We pick up right where we left off from the previous episode, Episode 8, which is technically Episode 2 of Death Valley. This is Episode 3. We're going to talk about it. Let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down in the comments below. Smash that like button for me. It helps me out quite a lot. And don't forget to click that subscribe button as well so you don't miss another beat. And you can interact with all me in all the other videos. So yeah, let's jump straight into this review of episode 9. Okay, so last week's episode, episode 8, was pretty good. I really enjoyed that quite a lot. We got some answers. We got to see some other stuff. This episode... I don't know. I, I'm i a bit mixed on it. While there are some elements that I really liked about this episode, some creepy vibes and just straight up good alien horror that I was looking for. But I also think in the process, they left out some moments that could have been even greater and made it really good. But I do have one huge issue with this particular episode. And that issue is the freaking pacing. This episode feels so crammed and so rushed. I was just me memor memorized, mesmerized at how rushed this actually felt. This is the problem when you have a thing like this that is that has so much lore and so much backstory and so much... I don't know. It's like meat in a taco. Like it's got so much meat. It's an essential and you need to explore that. And I don't even know that analogy didn't really make sense. Did it? But anyway, it's like, there's just so much packed into the taco basically that there's just too much, sometimes too much flavor. And that's what I felt like in this episode. There was too much flavor and it overpowered the whole thing that I, I wanted to see. Now, it goes back to in the time again, back in time. And I loved that whole stuff. In the first two episodes of Death Valley, I loved that stuff, the conspiracy and stuff like that. We learn out, we learn about Area 51 and why it was built and all these conspiracies and stuff like that throughout this episode, which was cool. But there's so many things that happen that they don't give you enough time to breathe and think and realize what is actually just happening. It's just one thing after another. It's like, bam, this just happened. Boom, onto the next bit. Bam, onto the next bit. There's this a scene where the dude who is working for the aliens fucks the president's wife and he walks in. And it's just like, yo, they just skip over it like it's nothing. And I'm just kind of like, yo, th that just happened. Are we, are we going to talk about that? Are we going to see what the actual implications of that happening? Like, uh, we just skipped over it and we've gone in now two years, one year, whatever it is, just so many things just happen, roll over. Like someone gets killed. Like they sent someone to kill this person because they know too much skipped over. We don't see the repercussions or anything like that from that. And I just feel like there's just so much there. That they needed more time to really flush it out. It just felt so rushed. There was this one moment as well. I'm not going to lie. This was the perfect opportunity biggest wasted opportunity of this show so far he starts hearing screams so he's in the white house and now obviously they live in there and he hears screams coming through the air ducts and stuff so he goes and investigates and he finds out that there is an underground thing where there is actually experiments going on now this is the perfect opportunity to really get that American horror story, like horror, it's, it's in your freaking name. This is your chance to give us one of the most horrific things you could do and scare the living daylights and make us queasy and stuff like that. As he's walking in there, why don't you make him walk through and he's seeing people being experimented on and all these hybrids and stuff being born and all this sort of stuff going on? That would have been so horrific, but we don't get that. And I feel like that's a missed opportunity. And again, it's a pretty interesting concept to have someone living upstairs to a bunker where people are getting experimented on. And it's kind of just, yo, they're just at a dinner table and it's just like, oh, why don't you just give him like Nevada and like have Area 51 and stuff like that? And he's like, oh, cool. Boom. So we just brush over him living over that. Like we don't see the repercussions or anything. It's just, 
it felt so rushed and just felt like they needed to push the story along really quickly to get to where it because I think next week's the season finale so it's kind of it but then we go to the new age where the the people are being held who are pregnant that we go straight back to where he's given birth and no it doesn't just come straight out of your stomach they actually cut him open and take the baby out which is a bit surprised by it. and again I'm it's in a pouch, so I guess that's how it works. But it just, I just, I don't know how it works. And I, I don't honestly know because in this episode, they also show the females giving natural birth, which would suggest that they just go through the normal vital organs that they need. But for the dudes, they must implant it because it comes out in a sack when they cut it open. So I wonder if that sack's implanted. I don't know. I don't know the science behind it. But so he gets cut open. Boom, the baby's born. And it's looking pretty, pretty messed up. It's good. Well, it's it's not the most messed up hybrid I've ever seen. Like the chick that's doing the surgery now, she's more fucked up than this baby. This baby just has big eyes. And they're just like, yeah, no, this is the best one we've had so far. And then just boom, slits its throat. It just literally, bam, the baby's dead. And then they drown it as well. And I'm like, yo. He's got some fucking serious shit. And then obviously they had the conspiracy about the moon landing and stuff like that. But the other guy is about to go into labor. He's suddenly getting contractions and stuff. So they had this brilliant, bright idea. The two guys, they go off into where the moon landing was shot. And he has this brilliant idea. Yo, you know what we should do? Instead of watching them kill our babies and stuff like that again, I'm going to cut you open right now. And then we're going to keep this baby. And I'm like... Yo, okay, so someone's dying. <laughs> it's so predictable that someone's going to die in this situation. I'm like, dude, you're literally about to cut this guy open. How are you going to, one, how are you going to stitch him up? Two, he's going to lose a lot of blood. Three, it's going to be painful as crap. So he did well not to pass out. I'm not going to lie. He did well not to pass out. But he cuts him open. And, yeah, the baby's there. And I'm like, they're like, oh, my gosh, she's so cute. And guess what? Guess what? This is why you just leave it to the professionals. You just let them do it. Because and I, I don't understand how he didn't see this when he was cutting it out of the sack. And I, I don't know how he saw it, didn't see it. But anyway, they're like, yo, it's so cute. And guess what this motherfucking baby has? From its waist down, it's a motherfucking octopus. It's a motherfucking octopus. And what does it do? Boom, jumps up and grabs his face like fucking alien. Just, uh, and he's like, ah! Uh, it looked like it had a little claw, so it's probably munching on his face. He's dead. It, it that's where it ends. So he's dead. But um, it felt like this episode felt really rushed, especially the first half. Just after one, after and after, after another, after another, and I'm just kind of like, yeah, you got to let it breathe. You got to let me just take in what you just did. Could have been better execution. Not gonna lie. The new stuff with the other people. With one episode to go, I don't know how they're going to wrap this up. I'm, I'm really concerned at how this is going to wrap up because Red Tide was really good and then that season finale just ended. It had no conclusion or anything. And I was kind of like, so you just end it. And what, what? that's what I'm scared. I'm scared they're going to do the same thing. I feel like Death Valley needed a lot more episodes because it just feels like it's going to be rushed. I'm, I'm really concerned that the last episode is going to be super rushed. And that's a shame because the first two episodes were really strong and I was really enjoying it. But this episode is definitely the weakest in my opinion. And it just felt so rushed. So let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down in the comments below. Smash that like button for me. Click subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Stay away from those aliens. Don't get attacked or whatever like taken from them because you don't want to end up in area 51 oh yeah too they're in area 51 newsflash good one dude good uh, anyway see you guys later peace out